steal your life, kill your life, and destroy. But I thank God that that statement did not end there. Jesus said, but I am come. Come down. I am come to give life and life abundantly. All over this room, if you've not surrendered your life to, you know if the rapture happens now, if trumpet sounds now, you know you cannot predict where you are going to be. You are the one I'm talking about. Find your way to the front. Find your way to the front. This is why we came. Watch us, please allow them. This is the best decision you will ever make in your life. Find your way to the front. If you have not given your life to Christ, find your way to the front. See, right now, angels are rejoicing in heaven. This is the best gift that we can give God tonight. This is why we came. Just one passion, one purpose, to love you more and more. When I'm gone, I'll, there are at least 50 more people, five zero, 50 more people in this hall. Find your way to the front. To know. I'll find there are at least 50 more people. No light outside you. No besides you. Let me know. When I going you know there was a day i made this decision too the man you are seeing today did not start like this there's always a day that a man's life changes for heaven and the day you give your life to christ is the beginning of the best days of your life you are sick and tired of where you are find your way to the front you are the one God is calling tonight. No love. No Let me know you. I'm waiting for 20 more people. 20 more people. See, forget about your friend. On the judgment day, you will stand alone. That friend will not be there. No one you. Eighteen more people. Oh, Let me sing this song by my brother. Someone's knocking at the door. Seventeen more people. Someone's knocking at the door. Can you hear him knocking? Can you hear him knocking? He's been knocking for so long he's been waiting for so long hey can you hear him no charles the lord said i'm hearing the name charles you have to find your your way to the front jesus jesus charles don't leave this place Without giving your life to Jesus, I'm 
I'm waiting for five more people. You know you could be clapping and you're supposed to be here. Wait. It would be a great loss to you if you are clapping and you're supposed to be here. Listen to me. This is how we belong. This is the real deal. There's no big boy outside Jesus. A product does not dictate to the manufacturer how to be used. God created you for his glory alone. The devil's work is to pervert. He's a per he loves to pervert. And he, he loves to use you before you discover yourself. And you can never discover yourself except you are in Christ. In him you live. In him you move. And have your pain. So this is the best thing that can have ever happen to you. Giving your life to Christ. I wait for the next 60 seconds. Don't miss this opportunity. I don't scare people with hell. And I don't scare people with rapture. But I love it when you realize the weightiness of the life of Christ. The richness of this life. I'm waiting for just the next 20 seconds and I'm going to call prophet to come and lead you to Christ but before prophet come can you just pour out your heart to the Lord listen to me you can't remember all the saints so just say Lord forgive me have mercy on me plead the blood of Jesus Someone is in the crowd said, but I think I gave my life to Christ two weeks ago. I think I gave my life to Christ two weeks ago. I think I gave my life to Christ two weeks ago. It means you didn't give it. Come. Find your way. Find your way here. Make a decisive decision tonight. There's a lady here you just aborted and the guilt is almost killing you. The Lord is giving you another chance tonight. Come, come and receive the love of Christ. Come and receive the love of Christ. Find your way to the front. We don't judge in church. We don't condemn. The ministry of condemnation is the ministry of the devil. The ministry of love and repentance, that's the ministry of Christ. That's what we've received. The ministry of reconciliation find your way to the front please church can you spread your hands to those people and pray for them prophet please please come prophet please as prophet prays if you are that lady just find your way to the front I know what I'm talking about please spread your hands to them and pray for them that this decision will last. Yes, stretch your hands and pray for them. That this decision will last. I want those of you in front here. Uh, this is the greatest miracle God can do for you. When He take you from darkness and bring you to light. I want you to say this prayer after me. I mean it from your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. Just as I am, I repent of all my sins. I ask you to forgive me. 
Wash me with your precious blood. I believe you came to the earth. I believe you died. I believe you rose on the third day. Now, Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. Be my Lord and be my Savior. Write my name in the book of life. Fill me with your spirit and help me to serve you all the days of my life. Thank you for saving me. Amen. Father, we pray that you will establish them in the house. We ask that they will not go back to the world, but they will be established in the house. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I want you to stand up. I want to show you something. Have you seen there are two pastors there? We want to be praying for you. We want to make sure that you are okay. Once a child is born in a house, the child must be nature. So they will take your name and take your prayer point and then you come back. So follow them. Pass this way. All of you, follow the two pastors there. Please welcome them with a clap of hand. Put your hands together for them as they go. God bless you. Some of you are going to be pastors and apostles and teachers and evangelists. You are going to be an instrument in the hands of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you very much, Prophet Nase. Let's give a big round of applause to Minister Dunsin and to the new converts to the kingdom. Well, Poterians, it's been a long day. It's been a long night. It's been a long 50 days, but we've built up a crescendo and we're just about to ride out the wave. And God always moves in special ways. Tonight, we've been blessed with so many ministers who have been a blessing to us and we cannot go without having on stage the man from Akwaibom stayed all the way in Nigeria he is the pastor in charge of the Oasis Church which is um, the youth or adult ministry of RCCG and he's a trumpeter we've seen that already tonight Potters, let's be on our feet and what He's a pastor, a trumpeter, a songwriter, a music producer, and a singer. He's well known for his inspirational songs including Imela, Onisha Iyanu, and Oluwak Bogboro. He's one of the most listened to gospel ministers out of Africa. Portis praise. Let's welcome Nathaniel Bassey. Nothing more 
when you're done please take the glove and satisfy just to see over the years that those who learn to give God the glory always have more opportunity to give him the glory you want to last long in ministry don't touch the glory soaked in his presence for hours and if we were to stop here you know we've been so thoroughly blessed but then I think the Lord will have us at this little part and while I sat there just praying in the spirit I always you know want to ask what's my assignment why am I here why am I squeezing this time very busy period to be here feel a sense of a couple of things 50 is a very strong prophetic number um, and I'm a prophetic student and I believe one of my assignments is to come blow the trumpet of jubilee I tell you and I'm just going to continue very soon but I want to prepare your heart this was really a sacrifice to be here tonight but no no I'm, I'm not saying that to to look big or whatever but I think it was worth it I've been so thoroughly blessed joyous celebration the singing the you know the Bible says play skillfully unto the Lord and this is what joyous celebration brings to the body of Christ just the ability to to deliver you know praise and worship with such skill and integrity and blessed by our brother please blessed just soaking there my brother I don't see ministry so if we stopped here we would have been so blessed but would you just allow me a few minutes to take you somewhere tonight <laughs> by the spirit that is so coming the Bible says in Ezekiel 43 verse 5 and the spirit took me up into the inner chambers and there the glory of the Lord filled the house there is a place of glory and I want us to touch it, we've, we've touched it but I want us to touch it again and before I do that can you just honor your your priest, your prophet I mean when I as someone who, you know, also leads in, in, a, in a small, um, small way, just seeing the, the entire logistics of joyous celebration here. I'm like, oh, yo, just the, the cost of bringing this, this, this one, just the, the heart. It takes a lioness heart. Celebrate him and his lovely wife. We honor you. Amen. And at some point, I'm going to bring up my friend Joe. I didn't tell him, my brother. We'll do the champion together. Let's just minister to the Lord. And then I'm going to, I'm going to revenge 
joyous celebration for bringing me up unannounced. So I'm going to bring these beautiful singers to sing Exalted with me. There's a song Exalted. I just want to minister it to the Lord. Okay. Lift your hands. Holy Spirit, help us one more time. Help us. Holy Spirit, carry me. Spirit carry to realms of glory carry not by power, not by might, but by my spirit. Holy Spirit carry me.
Christ said there will be things happening, there will be miracles, signs and wonders.
prophesy that a sound was rising from the desert lands to the distant lands many years later we began to hear songs from our nation to the ends of the earth and as I sat down there praying in the spirit I felt like my job tonight is also to activate some psalmist here tonight Ezekiel said, the spirit entered into me as he spake with me. There are people here who have had encounters with some of us in the dream, in the vision of the night. As I blow my trumpet and as I sing my song, something will enter into you. And a river will flow from your belly. Out of your belly shall flow. God's going to use your sound. Where are the prophetic psalmists in Ghana? Where are the scribes? Where are the trumpeters? Where are the singers? Ghana is your season. If you are one of those, lift your hands. Father, let's to 
His name is as ointment. What for? Therefore, the virgins love him. His bride love him. Yeshua.
there's somebody here you used to know how to lay before God for hours and just enjoy and soak in his presence but life has become very busy Father take us back to that place before we became popular before we began to travel before we began to earn money take us back let me tell you how the Lord brought me up while we sing that how the Lord brought me up I grew up as a young man who loved music and I wanted to travel the world and make good music you know I love the jazz genre and you know applied to schools entered in for the Beckley Best Scholarship won a scholarship you know and everything looked like it was going to work out and it was in a band with you know, some Christian brothers we would just make music and practice but just when we were about to apply for our visas the Lord said no leave it at the altar I sense the spirit of consecration in this place right now my family thought I'd gone crazy my colleagues thought I'd gone mad how, how could you then I began to have encounters with the Lord. The Lord would just occur to me. He would overwhelm me. Then he pulled me out of my various commitments. He shut this down, shut this down, shut this down. And he said just like David, Psalm 27 verse 4, inquire before me. So my job was go to church, serve in church, come back, lock myself in the room, get on my piano. You see, before you get a stage, you must have a back end. But years later, I understood that he was preparing me for what I'm doing now. I sense that there are stone clap, stone clap. I sense that there are people in that same season. And I came here to make sense of what you are going through. And also to call some of us. In the last few days, the Lord's been speaking to me about humility. grace to the humble I don't know if there are people who feel that God has a special call on their lives those people I just want you to come and lay before the Lord and the Lord's also been speaking to me about those days you know it was in those days that God killed 
the penchant for fame oh yes I've taken some crazy decisions he's taking me to places where nothing really moves me he was in those places those places that he said to me you will not put money first like everyone else <laughs> I said, Lord, how would I survive? He said, you will be on my payroll. And I say this with every sense of humility. That you are looking at a man who is on God's payroll. saying yes to God they've been struggling with his yes Deuce said leave me at the altar would you literally come to the altar and just lay down I'm also laying down my life on the altar again I know that's where he anointed me that's where he released grace on me that's the source of the songs you hear. That's where he, he breathed on me. He breathed his name on me. All I wanted to do was to know him. Sing Adonai. Softly, softly. Adonai means the one who is sovereign, who is Lord, who is in charge, the owner. Africans we love to dance and I have a, a, a personal revelation about the dance some of you may have followed us we had the hallelujah challenge and the revelation was the dance because it's an ancient mystery of exacting dominion one of the fiercest weapons in the arsenal of praise is the prophetic dance I know about the shout I know about the song of the Lord the Lord has taught me these secrets I've been on an airplane I've been on an airplane flying from Charlotte to DC and 
the Spirit of God ministered a song to my heart. Normally when I'm flying, I have my earphones and I'm just listening to worshipful songs, just adoration and very calm things just to help me meditate. But on this particular occasion, I had thy three beds, he turned it. Now, if you're a prophetic person and you are flying 35,000 above sea level and the Lord says, see, he turned it. It means there's something that is about to happen. No, it's not a prayer. After that, the pilot said, ladies and gentlemen, an error message just appeared on the dashboard. We don't know what it is, but we feel we are racing against time. We must find the, ne the next nearest airport to land or the plane might just give way. And then I knew what the Lord did. His word says, you are my hiding place and you surround me with songs of deliverance. I teach people that when you wake up in the morning and you hear a strange song, you better sing it. Your life can depend on it. And you must sing it till you feel a sense of release a note of victory now prior to that i had booked a wrong airport the u.s is big so i didn't know they had multiple airports i booked a wrong airport so the the flight was going to take me out of my state anyway way way but i began to sing he turned it now to cut the long story short, the nearest airport they could land with fire trucks coming was the original airport I was meant to take. Now, I'm sharing that testimony to tell you how the Lord has taught me in practice, by revelation, by experience these things. So I know about the shout, the dance. But can I tell you, the, the deepest places in worship are sometimes the most quiet places. Piano plays. Stop your heart from wandering. Your mind from pacing. Behold the Son of God lifted high. For one to two minutes, just be quiet in his presence. Meditate on him. Some of you, the word you were waiting to get will come to you now. Please. 
joy celebration. Can you join us to sing? Exalt Him. I know we like to dance. We will dance one shout shortly. But there is a holy surgery going on. there's the surgery going on they have to put you through an anesthesia to be calm because we're setting the atmosphere already. Please feel free to come and declare the word of the Lord.
Elisha can just vanish with you to Nigeria. Can we just enjoy the Lord together? Yes, please. Can we just enjoy? Brother Lucy, where are you? Brother Moses, please, where are you? This is the time to prophesy. praise and worship in Nigeria when something is out of this world and you are all struck you put your hand on your head and you say hey before we blow the trumpet of Jubilee I want you to come and dance the dance of Jubilee of 2023 God will do some stupendous things in your life that will make you say Jesus yeah. you have done it again Jesus McDowell and then they were trying to buy a, a, a church building and someone in the government in the county said over his dead body will they give it to a church Pastor William said to me Pastor Nat, can you stay one more day and lead us in triumphant praise we stayed back and blew the horn and then I prophesied that the next time I will come to this city will be in that same new hall in three months, the person who sent over his dead body died. In Orlando. And the church got the building. Yeah. It was at that service that I, I was about to minister and I sang, see what the Lord has done. Hey. Can I prophesy to 50 people? Anybody who has sent over his dead body. I come as a prophetic service tonight. As we sing and blow the trumpet. If they don't repent, I say amen to their prayer. So you are going to sing these prophetic songs. To Bechuku, Jesus here, and see what the Lord has done, and we'll blast the horn. Even before I pray.
of your babies of restoration of your anointing of that old and old of rejoicing 
Say, send for brother Nathaniel Bassi. We went with the team. It was tough because I had closed my international travel. But we, 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 they said it was a Macedonian call. And we sang over the land and prophesied. And the government declared that day to be a day of worship in the nation. And they said that we'll come back. If you receive a prophet, in the name of a prophet, you get a prophet's reward. Receive us in the name of a prophet tonight. See, we have I have a church conference beginning tomorrow. We have guests already. William McDowell is already in town. I left that to come here to go back. My flight is 6 30. Very the, the, the demand on this body, but I wouldn't have come if I didn't feel that there was something pulling me. Can you place a demand on that something tonight? Just lift up your hands. Numbers 10:10. 10, 10. Yeah. I'm gonna release five alarms. Okay, read from from nine, from verse nine. You know. I tell my team every time I go to minister in places I also believe God for a word I don't I don't I don't say because I'm a guest no 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 I, I I enter into the event to make sure I get all that God has for me let's proclaim together father as this sound goes forth and then we also blow from Joshua sorry Leviticus 25 the trumpet of jubilee so let's read these two scriptures and then i'll release an alarm every time you hear the alarm you've got to shout numbers 
10 9 and if you go to war in your land against the enemy that does what oppress you then you shall do what blow an alarm with the trumpets can i borrow the horn players of joy celebration can i borrow those brass players who play beautifully because the word says trumpets and ye shall be remembered before the lord your god and ye shall be saved from your enemies verse 10 also in the day of your gladness is this day of your gladness and in your solemn days and in the beginning of your months ye shall blow with the trumpets again over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifice of your peace offering that they may be to you for a memorial before your god i am the lord your god years ago the lord told me i felt an impression not no no he didn't tell me i felt an impression put the picture of a trumpet on your status on instagram and declare that it's a season of announcement a week later something called the hallelujah challenge began that has gone over the world the trumpet is a is a sound of announcement i came here to announce someone's destiny I came here to launch you to your prophetic destiny. There is that man of God I'm looking at. I think you there. As I blow the horn, there is a new dimension coming on your ministry. May your voice be like the sound of a trumpet. May your voice be like a trumpet that reverberates to the nations of the earth. Leviticus 25 very quickly this is one of the key things I came to do then shall thou cause the trumpet of jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month in the day of atonement shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all your land verse 10 thank you Jesus and ye shall hallow the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land unto all the inhabitants thereof it shall be a jubilee unto you. And ye shall, Bumi, you are getting married. And ye, shall, and ye shall return every man unto his possession. And ye shall return every man unto his family. There's, let me build your faith. There is a young lady, 40 something. He came to a meeting like this. I won't mention the name of the oil company is one of the biggest in the world she's about 40 something has no business in being the vice president of i mean not it's like a company like shell toto ajib Mobu, one of those and how god trans transported her by a strange decree weapons of our warfare are not carnal. How do you define a shout bringing down a wall? It's crazy. The sound of the trumpet. But these are the mysteries of the kingdom. As I blow this trumpet, Lord, remember my sacrifices and accept my bond of it. I place a demand on that sacrifice that brought me here. That after tonight, this morning, that the sort of strange workings of God they have never seen strange liftings they've never seen they begin to see it in the name of the Father every time I blow you shout hallelujah very loud Exodus 19.19 Exodus 19.19 one more scripture Exodus 19.19 Exodus 19.19 I walk with the scriptures with the word Exodus 19:19. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Moses spake, and God answered him by a voice.
is your season. Yeah. This is your season. Africa is a new day. Let the saviors arise. Lift up your two hands. And God answers Moses by a voice. Today the Lord has answered you by a voice. Something has happened here. And everyone will never be the same again. You are about to experience unforgettable encounters. It will affect everybody that comes around you. Today you have stepped into generational blessing. Generational blessing. Generational blessing. The struggle is over. The delay is over. The struggle is over. The delay is over. At the sound of the trumpet, we announce your unending divine victory. for the last time and this time you are stepping into prosperity every spirit of poverty in your background every financial hardship in your background in the year of jubilee it is broken by the power of the blood I say you are stepping into prosperity by faith by faith receive it by faith the Bible says, by faith, I said, bless Jacob and Esau. I bless you with abundance of finances. Anywhere you want to travel to me, the door will be open for you. You will not fail any examination again from today. You are a stranger to failure. As a trumpet sound, you are stepping into financial abundance. Let's give him thanks. Let's celebrate Jesus. Something has happened to you. You are not going back the same way you came here. The heavens are open. You are receiving the deal from above and the fatness thereof. You will be God's next champion. Your father's house will celebrate you. 
Your mother's house will celebrate you. The nation of Ghana will celebrate you. And from today, whatsoever the source of your feet shall tread upon, may you possess the land for Jesus Christ. May you be an instrument in the hands of God. Out of this crowd, may the Lord raise apostles and prophets and evangelists and teachers and pastors. And may the Lord send you to the nations of the world and take the nation for Jesus Christ. Today, today, today is your spiritual birthday. God richly bless you. Hallelujah. I want us to stretch our hand towards Pastor Nathaniel, Pastor Dawson, every one of them. Moses, please. Joy celebration. Stretch our let's let's deposit prayer into their life. Let's sow a seed of prayer into their life. All these thousands and those who are watching us from all the nations of the world. Stretch your hand. Ask the Lord to use them in a very mighty way. Let's pray for joy and celebration. Let's pray for all the team. Let's pray for Joe Matthew. Let's pray for Cynthia. Let's pray for Nathaniel. Let's pray for Dulce. Let's pray for them. Open your mouth. I want to hear the sound of your voice. Raka Zedebe Yatosaya. Makadaba Yatosaya. Lord, the best is here to come. The best is here to come. The best is here to come. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. May you jealously preserve them. May you jealously sustain them. May the oil remain fresh. Let the oil remain fresh. More songs out of their belly. That will stop the nations of the world. Open your mouth and pray. Five minutes more. Sow a seed of prayer. You convert the prayer of all these thousands that are here. Oh Jesus, protect their family, their wives and children. Oh Lord, preserve them. Haya kada boya, lisa suya antili mika toshaya, lisa sisi ziya kote, makati ya makaya, rakasudi mi ya tesaya, lima kaya suda baya, lususu ya keta. In Dalama Kapoya, Rakadabaya, fresh oil over Nathaniel's life, fresh oil over Dulce, fresh oil over Joe, fresh oil over Moses, fresh oil over joyous celebration, fresh oil over Cynthia. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we sow a seed of prayer into their life and all their team, all the instrumentalists, and everybody that is connected to them. We release a blessing. Stretch your hand towards them for two minutes and continue praying. Ask God to open the heavens over their head. Pour out their grace. Let the greater grace come upon them. The greater the grace, the greater the exploit they will make. Greater grace. Greater grace. Greater grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who died and rose again. Father, we cover them with the blood of Jesus. We secure them in the blood. Let the oil continue to be fresh. New songs out of their belly. Songs that will storm all over the nations of the world. Lord, let your hand rest upon them. And may you jealously preserve them in their household. And sustain them. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus mighty name. Somebody say amen and amen. How many of you are glad that you came for Porter's praise? <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, I'm going to release you next Friday. Those of you who couldn't get a garment, come to all night. You are going to have one. Hallelujah. And there shall be a blessing. Hallelujah. We command God's blessing. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Almighty God lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. May he preserve you and give you, make you a living testimony. The next time we hear of you, it will be an earth-shaking testimony in your mind. May your testimony silence your enemies. In Jesus' name. Tomorrow by this time, tomorrow by this time, God will put a new song in your mind. God bless you. Let the road from here to your house be safe for you. we we'll cover you with the blood. Good night. See you again on Friday. I love you too. I love you. I love you. God bless you.
God bless you. God bless you. Please make sure that the, the ushers open the doors, all the two doors, so that everybody can go in. Make sure you go in the queue very gently. I love you too. I love you. I love you. I love all of you. I love you so much. I love you. Can the protocol come and pick the offerings from here? Please, no, make, make your way out. They are very tired. They have to go and rest. But some now have to make his way back to Lagos. What a sacrifice. What do we say to all of them? God bless you. God bless you. All right, so make your way. Nana Seopusa Akode Ministries presents End of Year Camp Meeting and Prophetic Invasion USA Theme Change of Story Masudi be a talker May the Lord visit you in your home May the Lord give you an uncommon testimony May the Lord do something